Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of History Quest. We're here this month at the Minnesota Music Hall of Fame in New Ulm, Minnesota. Uh, if you've never been down here before, definitely come check it out. We have several people from McLeod County that have been inducted to the Minnesota Music Hall of Fame. We have Lester Schuft, we have Jerry Schuft, we have Wally Pickle, and some more too. And um, of course, if you don't know, uh, our very own John Munns is being inducted in 2024. So definitely come down here and check that out as well. Um, so why don't we get cracking and check this place out? This is our well, Prince Legacy. Um, most of this stuff, in fact all of it, has been uh, given to us from a gentleman called Joel King. He uh, worked with Prince on Purple Rain. He actually did the filming. He was a, uh, at Warner Brothers. He was a um, cameraman and ended up becoming friends with Prince. And uh, Joel is also a Minnesota person. And a prince, of course, is Minnesota. So they've just kind of kept in touch and doing different things throughout Prince's life. And when he passed on, then Joel started his collection and we're fortunate enough to have it to continue the Prince legacy. Okay, we have a nice collection of different organs and um, they're donated by individuals. Some of them parents or grandparents um, had played it and it's part of, you know, part of their heritage and rather than just store it in a barn somewhere, they have given it to us and so everybody can enjoy it. Okay, this is the Peterson family. Uh, Jeannie Peterson is the uh, mother of a talented group of pe family, and she um, played at the Twins games, the organ, and uh, very, very popular. And then we've got Patty, um, Ryan, we've just got gobs of kids that they're all talented. They got, got her talent and uh, wonderful. And then we have Bob Dylan up there on the top shelf. And here we have Jack Valenkity. Um, I graduated with him from New Orleans Public in 1961. And he wrote Satin Sheets, with his, which is a huge country, country song. So in the next area here is our showcase for 2024. So when we get all the memorabilia from our new inductees, they'll each have a shelf. We will put it on display. And um, so right now it's empty because um, we're just starting to get stuff from our new inductees. Okay, over here we have John Denver. And you're probably saying, John Denver, he's Colorado. Um, he came to Minnesota and toured or gave a tour at the college, a performance, Gustavus and saw this girl in the audience, her name was Annie Martell, and he had his people go locate her, and after a while, they dated, fell in love. He moved to Minnesota and lived in Edina for, from 68 to about 72. And that's when he wrote some of his best songs, Annie's song, um, Coming Home, uh, that type of thing. Then on the top shelf, we have Molly B, who, of course, everybody knows she's just, 
she's just so full of vim and vigor and she's polka um, just all the way and puts on a very, very good performance. She's at our Bavarian Blast all the time, performs all over the country and she winds up the audience. And then here we have a group of inductees, um, not as famous as John Denver or Prince, but to us they're still important. Uh, we try to treat everyone the same. So we have Robert Grutenfelder, we have Lamont Cranston, who's a rock band, uh, Philip Brunel, and here we have one of our New Orleans people, Guy DeLeo. Um, he was an instructor up at uh, cathedral and had his own band. Very, very good dance music. Then we move on down here to Johnny Helgott. Very, very popular. Played with Babe Wagner, played with um, lots of different bands. Um, very talented man. So, and then we have Bobby V. And of course, Bobby V, top shelf. Um, if anybody's familiar with um, Buddy Holly, he filled in for, the, for Buddy Holly when their plane crashed. The band was able to uh, perform and Bobby V filled in for, um, for him and made him famous. And then here we've got The Replacements, which is a, a rock and roll, um, I always call it a headbanger group. Uh, my kids watched it when they listened to them when they were young. And um, so I got to hear their music. And then we've got City Mouse, and we've got uh, Leon Olson, we've got the Andrew Sisters, which very popular on Lawrence Welk. Um, and we've got some local, I Williams, John Arsers. Here we've got the Shells Hobo Band. In this cabinet, there's different, different things. Here is the New Alm Greenhouse Band. Uh, this is Bandwagon over in Mankato. Some of our groups have been over there. And again, there's more memorabilia. Yeah, and this here is some more. We have a hundred and probably 97 or 98 inductees. So we're not gonna name every one of them. Um, I just wanna point out uh, Frances Denmore. She uh, recorded the Indians in probably early 1900s, their language and their music. And that is the um, microphone and that that she used. It was a sleeper for us. We were just couldn't believe what a find that was to have someone nominate her. It was great. And then we've got, you know, more nominations. Here's the uh, uh, Apollo Club from Minneapolis. Very, very good. And Steve Moran. And so we can head to the back. Here's Lori Lyne's display. She is a pianist wonderful, wonderful pianist, and she travels all over the upper Midwest, and I noticed this year, I think she performed in Colorado also. She does a Christmas show every year, and it's absolutely fantastic. Her husband is involved with her, and the Rudolph was one of his costumes for the Christmas show. So then we move on here to Whoopi John's piano. He, um, this was in a basement and, and uh, somebody, one of the daughters or granddaughters had it and she donated it to us, which was a wonderful find for us. And then there's some of his band members. 
some of his posters, dance posters. And here's Whoopi John's display. Uh, first, or bottom and second shelf. All right, top shelf is Christy Hengel, a concertina manufacturer. Um, his concertinas sell anywhere from $10,000 on up. The person who bought his business after he died, he is making concertinas in New Prague. And um, how you can tell if it's Christie's or um, Jerry Minor. And it'll say Hingle sideways. And if Jerry made it, it'll say Hingle up and down. So that's how you can tell which, which manufacturer made it. All right, here's our, uh, one of our country western people. This is Sherwin Linton. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about him. He um, performs at different nightclubs, at casinos, and, and um, I don't think he's as active as he used to be. Uh, good music, good music. And he does a tribute to Johnny Cash. And we do have a letter from Johnny Cash in the display over there. And um, so, and here we move on to Elmer Scheid, which I don't even have to explain who he is. It's just, he's a wonder, he had a wonderful band, wonderful band. Then we have Soul Asylum, which is a rock group. And I have to tell you about our poster, uh, Buddy Holly and the Crickets. Um, they performed in Mankato, I think it was, it was probably two days before the plane crash in Iowa. A little gentleman came in here about three years ago. He could hardly walk, but he had this big piece of cardboard, and he said, you know, I'm going to a nursing home. I don't have a family anymore. They were all gone. And he said, I, they went up in the attic and got my stuff down, and I forgot I even had this. this I went to that dance in Mankato, and he said, I took the poster. And that is the original poster, and he said, I forgot all about it. It was up in my attic. He brought it in, cardboard, you know, just dusty and dirty. So that was so nice of him to donate that to us. And I understand it's, it's worth some money, but we will never sell it. We keep it here. And then we have, you know, different groups, the Minnesota Brass. Uh, we have... Um, Steve Murphy, he's a Mankato rock group. He's passed away. Jerry Kale, Monroe Crossing. Yeah, we have every genre of music there is. Um, yeah, so it just Eddie Cochran, um, rock group in the 60s. He died in a very bad car accident in London. So, and then we have Tom Ginkle and, um, of course, who we're proud of is Harold Laffemacher. He, um, he probably is maybe next to, uh, um, who do I want to say, John Wilford. He's probably the most famous. He was on Lawrence Welk so many times. One time Lawrence Welk says to him, where do you find all the concertina players? And Harold says, they're a dime a dozen in New Orleans. And here is the organ. They drug this organ up and down every step, wherever they played a dance, this organ went with them. So um, it, it still works, but it doesn't sound good at all anymore. Babe Wagner Band, very famous. Um, Ray Meidel, he was an instructor up at Cathedral also. Good educator for music. And as you can see, we just have, you know, all different genres of music in here. 
Um, in this corner, we might want to take a peek at this, Judy Garland. Um, she's from Grand Rapids right here. And um, so it, it's fun to see her memorabilia and read her history. Evidently, someone had stole her shoes, and, but got them back now for 20 years ago or something. Yeah, and then here's the Peter and Paul Wendiger band. Paul has passed on, but um, Peter is still, still playing music and still enjoying, you know, entertaining people. We have the Blenders, the Minneapolis Police Band. Um, yeah, Dick Kimmel, good um, bluegrass person. Johnny Western, he made a lot of movies out west. He was a Minnesota person. Yeah, to be in here, you don't have to live in Minnesota forever, but we want you to have some Minnesota roots, either born here or, or lived here for a while and made a difference to the Minnesota music scene of music. So, and then here we have J. Ernest Cat. Uh, he does Church of Cash. It's wonderful, He's, he, it's great. And he is just all over the country, too, I saw. In fact, I think he did a tour in Ireland, too. So you try to keep up with your people that are in here, but um, sometimes it slips by and, and you, don't, you don't get it, yeah. So, and then we, over here we have, oh, Fez Fritchie. So it was Harold Luffemacher, Fez Fritchie, uh, Whoopi John, all them, all them bands, they were just so popular here in New Ulm. So anyway, that, that's, about, that's about our museum. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, it's been a great tour. This is going to be a great episode. Um, this, this place is absolutely amazing. There's so much history here, so definitely come down and check it out as soon as you get a chance to. Um, for now, I guess that's our show, and so we'll hope to see you again next month. See ya.